Hi, I'm Michael Hampton. I'm reading for Teddy Roosevelt. I'm five foot eight and a half. Mr. President, Secretary Taft has been waiting almost an hour now. Oh. Oh my god, I didn't mean to strike so hard. No, no, none of that. You saw your moment and struck. I'd have done the same. Uh, Mr. President, <sighs> Secretary Taft, shall I ask him to... William, have you ever known me to let a scratch such as this deter me from attending to business? Um, no. Neither will it be so today. I'll be with him in five minutes. Very well, Mr. President. Bugger off. On your feet! Damn you, this instant! You're a disgrace to that badge. But if you would like to save your employment, be at my office at 7 a.m. and not a damn minute later. Do you hear? I'm so sorry, I'm sorry, Miss Graham. And to my fellow officers, may the war last until we're killed! Wounded! Surprised to see you, Teddy. Something on your mind? Well, I understand you threatened to kill me on sight, so I've come over to see exactly when you'd like to begin the killing. Shall we? Friends, I shall ask you to be quiet now. I don't know whether you fully understand that I have just been shot. But it takes more than that to kill a bull moose. The bullet is in me now. So I cannot make a very long speech, but I shall try my best. Friends, I do not care about myself, I promise you that. I do not care that I have just been shot. I do not give a rap. Not a rap. I have been through a great many things in my time. And this is one of those times. What I care for is my country! Ah, good lad. You've posted centuries. Father... I know what Dr. Moore told you, Kevin. Now listen carefully. I will not let my health endanger the lives of everyone else. You'll head down the river tomorrow morning without me. By God, I will not. You will. <clears throat> you can't remain here. Supplies left. My life is not worth those of a dozen other men. Especially if one of those men is my son. You know I cannot leave you. Kermit. I know you can. And you will. It's not up for discussion. Full life, my son. I've lived more than other men do in a thousand lifetimes. But you, your story is yet to be written. Now, I want you to see those men home. 